I think we're done. We need, just need them up. Yeah. Let me talk to yours. Hey, George. We're almost done here. What? We're almost done here. Can you bring them up on a bucket? And we'll be out of here in a few minutes. Ah, okay. I'll be right back. Hey, man. You all right? Hey man! When working in an enclosed space, it's essential that a robust procedure is followed at all times to guarantee everyone's safety. The importance of following procedures cannot be overstated, as they have been developed and verified by knowledgeable people. Never be tempted to enter any space where there is a risk of dying, even if it seems to be the easiest thing to do. Always follow procedures and think of the possible atmosphere risks inside, whether it is marked as enclosed or not. Accidents often happen when people intentionally do not follow procedures or try to cut corners. But they can also be caused by complacency, which happens when people don't apply sufficient thought to an operation. It's not intentional but it could be a failure of their situational awareness because of tiredness or a lack of concentration. Following company procedures ensures that people are supported and can safely complete their tasks. It's up to you and other crew members to follow these procedures, which will typically include having a copy of the permit at the enclosed entry point and checking its validity before entry, making sure any restrictions or requirements on the permit are followed, informing the necessary people, and opening and protecting entrances to prevent any unauthorized entry. Other procedures include preparing the space with lighting and ventilation, testing the tank atmosphere at all levels prior to entry, Confirming lockout tagout is in place. Ensuring people are wearing the correct PPE. Establishing and testing communications. Tallying people in and out of the space. Having an alarm system for trapped or unconscious people. Having an attendant who knows the emergency signals and how to raise the alarm and regular monitoring of the atmosphere whilst people are inside. Everyone working in an enclosed space should wear a personal gas detector and they should ensure that the requirements for a rescue are in place, which includes having such equipment as breathing apparatus at the entrance. When there are people within an enclosed space, it's essential that they are monitored at all times by an attendant with a radio outside the space. If people are out of sight while working, there should be another watcher inside the space to ensure continuous monitoring. Use radios to maintain contact with people, the attendant and the duty officer. If the attendant loses contact with a person due to them becoming confused or appearing to be unconscious, they should immediately raise the alarm. Unconsciousness can occur if someone has insufficient oxygen or they are overcome by gas. In either case, they need to be rescued immediately to stop organ damage. One of the rescue team will wear the breathing apparatus that is positioned at the entrance of the enclosed space, 
while others bring extra equipment to assist the casualty. The attendant is responsible for recording rescuers who go into the space. Workers should maintain contact amongst themselves and with the outside using verbal communications. A radio. Down a rope. Or by using hand signals. Ideally, you should maintain visual contact. If this is not possible, some other form of contact needs to be maintained at all times. If the work team inside the space have any requirements, they can ask the attendant for assistance, but it's important to remember that the attendant is there for the worker's safety and should never leave the entrance. If the attendant tells people to clear the space, they must immediately do so. This could be because of an emergency on board the vessel or other circumstances not known by the people in the space. The attendant will also inform the duty officer that an enclosed space entry is underway and when the people have left the enclosed space. Due to the hazards and risks that are associated with enclosed space entry, effective communications should be maintained with all relevant personnel to ensure proper management of the operation. It is a solace requirement that applicable vessels carry an appropriate portable atmosphere testing instrument. This should be capable of testing an enclosed space atmosphere from the outside. As a minimum, it should be capable of testing for concentrations of oxygen, flammable gas or vapour, carbon monoxide and hydrogen sulphide. Monitoring equipment is used to test the enclosed space atmosphere before entry and periodically whilst work is being carried out within the space. Portable test equipment performs a self-test to check on the instrument's functionality. They should be of an approved type, feature a display that can be read in any light, and they should be used in addition to a personal gas detector worn on a person's clothing. If there is any likelihood of other gases or vapours being present, the vessel should carry appropriate test equipment. All equipment must be regularly calibrated in line with the manufacturer's instructions and there should be a manual in the working language of the vessel. Always test equipment for functionality before use. The PPE requirements for an enclosed space operation should be identified at the planning stage, including physical and exposure protection equipment. And these should be thoroughly inspected prior to use to ensure that they are in good condition. All people inside an enclosed space should carry a personal gas detector as part of their PPE. This will test for oxygen and carbon monoxide levels as well as the presence of other gases as appropriate. If the alarm sounds whilst in an enclosed space, leave it immediately as the condition of the atmosphere has deteriorated. Evacuation of the space is also necessary if any forced ventilation equipment fails, any PPE equipment fails, there is an emergency alarm on the vessel or the attendant tells you to leave. Fulfilling the requirements of an enclosed space entry permit is an integral part of preparing for an operation, but it only confirms that procedures have been followed up to the time the permit is signed. When the permit is authorised, the entry can go ahead, but it does not guarantee that the space is safe. People must always undertake personal risk assessments to support themselves. Even with a permit issued, spaces can be unsafe if procedures were not properly followed before the permit was signed. There may have been a build-up of gas or a reduction in the oxygen levels since the samples were first taken. And there is always the chance that the initial samples were not representative. There is also the possibility that ventilation equipment has stopped working before entry is achieved. Or there has been an accidental release of product into the space between the time the permit was signed 
and the entry operation began. There is also a chance that workers associated with the task do not follow the permit requirements and safeguards, potentially leading to unsafe acts that harm themselves and others. Another possibility is that the conditions have changed. The permit only covers specific items, which may not include work taking place in the space, or the time limit on the permit may have expired before work begins. One of the most dangerous things to do in an enclosed space is to rush to the aid of a fallen colleague. Many deaths have occurred because crew members have not thought of their own safety in their haste to help others. Remember, an enclosed space entry permit does not make the space safe or govern the work to be done. The permit contributes to safe working practices, but you are responsible for maintaining your own safety. Always consider your situation whenever you are inside or about to enter an enclosed space. Your life might depend on it.